Well, it is a lovely misty morning here in Port Hardy, British Columbia. So this is actually called the Glen Lyon River right there that empties into the sea and beautiful views over the water. I'm going to definitely miss this balcony. I got a rental car book that's pretty extortionate. I paid about $150 for a day just to drive the car to Campbell River. Otherwise, I got to wait until tomorrow to take a bus and it's about the same price. So I'm just going to go today. It's nice to have the freedom of a rental car so you can stop and actually see some parts of the drive along the way. So another incredible breakfast here at the Glen Lion Inn. Two eggs sunny side up, sausage, bacon and toast today. I didn't go for the hash browns. And that's a pretty good restaurant breakfast included in the rates here. So definitely a good deal. I only paid $109 for tonight, so not bad whatsoever, including this amazing breakfast. Well, I'm here at the Port Hardy Airport, which is way out of town, to pick up a rental car. It is a Hyundai Kona, and I'm about to drive down Highway 19 towards Campbell River, British Columbia. Campbell River is 221 kilometers away. It should take me about two and a half hours to drive down there, not including any stops. We'll see how the day goes, if I make any stops along route, but let's go. Think about me one more time before you go. So I'm heading to Suintula on Malcolm Island. I decided to pull into Port McNeil quickly to catch the ferry, as I know I'm gonna regret it if I don't go and check out this Finnish community. So, should be good. It's a 25 minute ferry ride. All right, back on board, this time heading to Malcolm Island. So pretty empty on board today. One of the only passengers. It's a pretty straightforward crossing. I'm going to spend three hours over there in Suintula to check out the Finnish culture of the area. Beautiful colored houses there as well. I'm going to grab a coffee and a baker item from the local bakery there, which is supposed to be really good. And then make my way back to Port McNeil, back in the rental car, and then down the highway to Campbell River. So I've arrived here in the town of Suintula on Malcolm Island. So Suintula translates to place of harmony and this town was founded by Finnish colonists back in the early days of British Columbia's history. So you'll find a lot of evidence of Finnish culture around this small town. Really colorful mural here along the waterfront in Suintula. See Port McNeil across the way there. So it says, Sacred are the salmon that swim in the sea, up a long river to feed a tall tree. Blessed are the fishermen who fish upon the sea, catching the salmon to feed you and me. Interesting. Pretty tranquil setting. You can see the ferry is going away. It'll be back in three hours. All right, there's the Suintula Cooperative Store. It says it was established in 1909, so I'm sure that's roughly the age of the community, I'm guessing. Beautiful place very small. Again, this is pretty much it. So I'm going to have three hours of looking around probably the smallest town that I've looked around so far. If they're open, Upper Crust Bakery. Definitely getting hungry now, so I'm gonna get something to eat here. Right, let's go check this place out. So they are open, that's good. I read online that this place is pretty good, so let's we'll see what they have to offer. Yeah, that's good. And I uh, hope 
Everything stays well, buddy. Uh, I don't have everything in the menu, so don't look at the board. I have okay. two. Yeah. As this donut that just come out, you shop to, you know, you have glaze and okay. sugar, cinnamon sugar, and I have soup, it's a corn potato shoulder. Okay. And I can do ham and cheese sandwiches. Okay. Um, I'll have a, can you do coffee as well? Yeah, we'll brew some coffee. Okay, so sounds good. Coffee, though. All right, well, the guy was nice enough to give me a free refill, so save myself another 250, three bucks for another coffee. But yeah, it was nice. Decent little cafe, kind of a odd interior design, but he's making a new life for himself here in Sointula. So very cool. You can see there is several cute buildings, a lot of firewood. Definitely a rustic town. You can see this little structure right next to me. So this actually started as a socialist colony. So they basically, you know, communism light, I suppose. They wanted to start a colony where they all would take care of each other. And it was Finnish settlers who decided to establish this place. So pretty interesting history. So the rain is coming down like mad now. I'm kind of souring my experience, but it's okay. Very thankful that this Osmo action is not susceptible to any rain damage. I'm so glad that I finally have a truly waterproof camera for days like today. The ferry leaves in about an hour and a half, so. I haven't seen too much here though. I'm gonna go into the co-op building there, the local cooperative. Again, there's some socialist leanings here in Sointula, so it's not surprising they established a cooperative. Get ahead inside and check it out. All right, not much going on in here, that's for sure. This reminds me of when I lived up in Canada's Arctic. Kind of a mishmash of everything. So you can see here they have some Finnish crispy rye bread for sale. 12 bucks, it's pretty cheap if you're looking for the authentic thing. Some griddle crunch bread as well. So yeah, there is some definitely some Finnish products around the store here at the local co-op. Very cool. Someone definitely has a sense of humor at this store. And they also have Finnish salty licorice here, which I'm definitely gonna buy. I have not had these since I visited Finland in 2010, so 11 years ago, crazy. All right, I'm gonna try these salmiaki or salty licorice. Again, I tried these back in Finland in 2010. So it's been quite a while, but I remember liking them quite a bit. Imported by somebody, okay, cool. I think this is actually the same brand I had back then as well, so. We'll see how these are, except the ones I had back then were fish shaped and these are like diamonds. We'll give these a shot. Oh yeah, they're definitely salty. They're quite pleasant though. Well, I don't mind them at all. I mean, problem though is that if you eat too many of these, you get high blood pressure, just like eating a lot of salt. So not advised if you have any sort of heart condition or anything like that, or struggle with high blood pressure to begin with. But even if I, you know, I don't have any heart problems, but if I take about 10 of these, maybe, I don't know, about that, you start to get really thirsty. And also your heart starts beating a little bit more than it usually would. So be careful with these. Not cheap though. $7.15 or so. Pretty incredibly expensive, but I guess they have to be shipped in from Finland. So, wow. It does pack a punch though. Ooh, very weird flavor, but definitely recommended. And again, what a great way to experience Sointula. This is the Sointula Museum. And it is closed again. I tell you, that COVID won't let up. Summer open daily. There you go. So it's just out of season, not necessarily COVID. I guess they have a lot of artifacts in here related to the town's history and Finnish settlement. Pretty interesting. You can see that image on the very top. I believe that's the, I guess, painting that depicts the settlement of Sointula by the Finnish to establish their socialist colony. Very interesting. And yeah, not much else going on here, folks. Beautiful setting though, and just out of season. There's a unique house. It's got some Rapa Nui Easter Island heads out front. Very strange. Yeah, I'm wrapping up my time here in Sanchua. 
Not much more to do at this point, to be honest. So yeah, only about 500 people live here in Sonchila. So it's extremely small. Not a ton to do outside of the summer season. But it was cool to see some Finnish culture here in Canada and check out this very small town. And there's the Coho Joes and they actually closed at 2.30 so I just missed them. I probably should have went there first. Gonna go head down to the beach to get some photos of the colorful buildings along the waterfront and then head back to the ferry terminal. So this is a fairly impressive piece of wood art. Eagle catching a fish right outside the tourist information office. Some impressive mountains there I didn't really notice yesterday. It just was so foggy. You know, just going for a stroll here. I got about a half hour to kill before the ferry departs. Yeah, really nice day today. It's not raining anymore at least. That's good. Nice little colorful buildings here. Looks like the ferry is still docked over there in Port McNeil. Hasn't left yet, so still have a little bit of time. With the rain being gone, it's a great day for a little walk down the beach, so nice day. You can see just how foggy these mountains are here in the distance. So that pretty much wraps up my time here in Sointula. I've pretty much seen everything that I wanted to see here, at least apart from the museum, but it's closed for the winter, so it is what it is. I'm gonna head back to Port McNeil now, and then straight into the car down Highway 19 to get as far as I can towards Campbell River tonight. I might not get all the way there, I don't really want to be driving in the dark tonight, not because I'm scared of the dark, but because I want to see the sights along the way. So I might stop as soon as it gets dark out and get myself a motel and continue the drive tomorrow. But I'm going to get straight in the car at about 5.30 p.m., use the last hour or so of daylight and get as far as I can towards Camel River, probably to the community of Was. I'm glad I made the side trip out here. I was torn on it. I kind of was a... It was nagging me that I wasn't able to go yesterday, so I didn't necessarily want to miss out on the chance to see Sointula, because I've heard about this place since I was like 18 years old, so it's been like 20 years since I first heard about this place, and I've just never gotten a chance to go yet. But yeah, I was, you know, I think I was expecting a bit more Finnish culture, but I got Salmiaki, so that was unexpected and cool. Yeah, I really do love communities like this that have a story to them. You know, the Finnish settlers creating their socialist colony. And it's just, there's a lot of history to Canada that we often take for granted. The world takes for granted, I'd say. If you look closely enough, you can see that Canada has quite a bit to offer. Where else in the world can you find this random Finnish colony, literally on a small little island in the middle of nowhere? Amazing color now as we enter the golden hour before sunset. Beautiful views of Vancouver Island there in the distance. And tons of color here in Sointula as well. The ferry is almost here, so I gotta get going, but definitely a nice way to end my time here in Sointula. Beautiful place. Very small. This is by far the smallest place that I visited on my trip so far in British Columbia. The ferry is pulling in here to Sointula. Again, it'll be a 25 minute trip back over to Port McNeil. I live on this boat already. It's my fourth trip in the past 24 hours.
So I am back in Port McNeil, ready to get back in the rental car and head down the island towards Campbell River. Beautiful views over the Port McNeil Harbor this evening. So this is my room at the Ramada Campbell River. I decided to go a little bit cheaper today just to save some money because this rental car is so expensive. But this room cost me 63 Canadian plus tax. It came to about 73 Canadian and it's actually not that bad. Huge king bed, so that's cool. And this little living room area. So yeah, this is just about 55 US dollars per night, including tax, which is pretty affordable, 55 US. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already. Comment below. Let me know what you thought of the video. Like this video and tell your mom and dad about it. All right, see you tomorrow.